Hello everyone, this is Robin here with the MI Router 3C. This is a brand new product from Xiaomi which costs Rs 1200 only. In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at it and review it. Inside the box, there isn't much. It's just a router, some paperwork, and a 5V 1A adapter. Coming to the router itself, it's a sleek, gorgeous looking device with 4 antennas. On the front, there is a light which shows the status. On the side, there isn't much. On the back, we have the power input, Ethernet input, which is not a gigabit Ethernet port, and two LAN outputs with individual lights. On the bottom, there's a lot of ventilation and some regulatory information. As this is not just a normal router, we shall cover all the app interface along with the functions. You need to download the MI Wi-Fi app and sign into it with your MI account. After connecting the WAN and power, turn on the device and go to the app. On the very first page, you see the general information, the network speeds and all the devices, including the guest network list, which we'll cover later in this video. From here, you can view individual devices, block internet access to the device while they're still connected, or deny wireless connectivity, and add a device to the notification list so that you get notified every time the device connects to your Wi-Fi. All the features on the app can be controlled from anywhere in the world via your MI account, as long as your smartphone and your Wi-Fi have internet access. Moving on to the next screen, here you get updates, which check for new software updates for your router. Firewall, which contains the block list and network security options. And Wi-Fi Boost, from which the device scans and optimizes the Wi-Fi signal and network quality. With QoS, that means quality of services, you can prioritize which service gets the strongest internet connection, be it video, web pages or games. For example, you have VPL over for a game or a movie, you can prioritize the bandwidth to the video so that it plays uninterrupted. Here, you can also set the bandwidth of the guest network. The other features are the Wi-Fi timer, scheduled reboot, which we'll hardly use. In the settings tab, you see Wi-Fi settings, which shows your current Wi-Fi settings. From here, you can change SSID or password and create a new guest network. With the guest network, you can create another network with a separate SSID and password so that you do not have to change password after a couple of people in your building ask for your password. As mentioned earlier in this video, you can set a specific bandwidth to the guest network and view the connected devices so that they get limited speeds. You can also change the network settings and manage the hardware and system from this page. This smart router can also be used as an amplifier or a repeater. Let's look at the web page access now. Here you have option to set it to the base station or repeater. Now that we're here, let's take a quick look at what you see here. On the main page, you see the basic information and from here, you can control pretty much everything that you can do from the app. The antenna signal strength is absolutely amazing. On the wall penetration mode, the strength is impressive. You can also buy the MI repeater for 999 rupees if you need additional signal strength or you have a larger workspace. Now that we have covered ev almost everything, let's talk about the quick flaws. First, the app needs some improvement. Not that it's not good, but still, some smoothness would be highly appreciated. Second, the QoS feature decreases the speed of every other function, so it becomes difficult to browse the internet. Third, there are minor glitches in the app, like sometimes it shows wrong device in the guest list, but it gets corrected shortly or with a refresh. But despite of all these things, in my view, this is an amazing product. You should definitely go for it if you're looking for a decent router in this price range. It is also worth spending the money if you only want the smart features over a conventional good working router, as this does not cost much. So that's gonna do for me in this video. If you have any suggestions or views, please mention them in the comment section below. If you liked it, please drop a like and I'll catch you in the next one.